Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to the tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Automation Engineer. We are in chapter 3. We are almost done with every topic here. Now we are moving to the sample questions of this chapter. The very first question from this particular chapter is about why is it important for the TAA to separate the test definition from the test execution? Before we get into the solutions, let me just tell you quickly here that this chapter will have a lot of straightforward questions and some scenario-based questions as well. So you must be prepared for both the cases. We'll be expecting mostly K2, K3 and K4 questions. We do not have any K1 and all together you will have 10 questions from this chapter. So you are expecting around 18 points from this chapter distributed among K2, K3 and K4. Yes, getting back to all the very first question is why is it important for the TAA, that is test automation architecture, to separate the test definition from the test execution. I think we understand test definition layer and test execution layer are two different things and of course uh, execution has to rely on the tool whereas the definition if in case has to rely on the tool as well and tomorrow if you later because we, see, and we understand that the test definition is done quite earlier in the cycle whereas execution takes place later in the cycle. So if in case later you decide to go with another tool, then of course the test definition has also to be defined. So it is very important that it should be done separately. So we can pick up the right answer here directly as B, the test definition can be completed without knowledge of the tool that will be used for execution. <clears throat> the next question here, number question two is, you are working on a test automation project that will automate business scenarios for the user's acceptance testers to use when conducting UAT, of course. The business scenario are well-defined and frequently repeated during UAT. The goal is to also be able to test these same scenarios as part of the regression testing by executing the test automation. Structure scripting has already been used to develop the library of the function that can be used by the test automation. What scripting technique should be used to build upon the structured scripting that has already been done and to implement these test automation to meet the business goals? And the very most important thing is of course you're talking about UAT which is uh, one of the aspects from the phases, like different phase, different levels of testing. Now, you would see that the word scenario has been used in the previous paragraph or the first paragraph twice or thrice. So this use of that word three times is only to redirect you every time you read the sentence. So A is not the answer for your kind information. It's not a scenario driven scripting because scenario is the user scenario, not the execution scenario. On the other side, you're talking about structure scripting. We do not have a structure scripting on the option at all, and we do not have a type as well. Then we say that we are already done with a lot of other things, preparing the library is another fine. So, all right, that is also done. So we are done with linear scripting. So now what is else required to be done? UAT is a process. Of course, it's a part of process. Then the right answer will be C, process-driven scripting. So this is how you figure out and avoid any kind of confusion when you work on the questions during the examination. The next question, which of the following is true about reuse? I think we just recently did the same tutorial about reusing of the tasks. About reuse, of course, reuse is a clause which can be used for entire thing. Now, the answer sets we have here is A, reuse is built into the TAA and maintained and improved in TAS. That is TAS. Reuse is built in both TAA and TAS and maintained in the GTAA. I think this is quite invalid because GTAA and TAA stands for the same thing. C. Reuse is only applicable for GTAA, that is generic test automation architecture. Uh, I don't think so because TAS can also be reused. We just recently learned the same. And reuse is built into the task and maintained and improved in the TAA. I think that's the other way around because task comes later than the TAA. So I think we only have one option which is relevant and right is A. Reuse is built into TAA as well as maintained and improved in TAS. That is as per the syllabus absolutely correct. So 
That's all from this particular tutorial team. We just picked up three simple different types of questions which I can address to you out of 10 questions to uh, make you understand what will be the typical types of questions which you can expect in the examination. Should you have anything beyond this, feel free to comment below so that I can take that question into consideration and have a good discussion based, uh, video based discussion and solution to you. So till then keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.